which will probably be me because you know how I am. Hey, Annie. Hi, baby. He's very focused. Yes, I'm just updating my. I need to, just in case my computer breaks down, I need to put all my lesson plans and everything on this um, USB. Oh, okay. Yeah, which I need to use my Batman one, which I love that. I know you want to use the Batman, not the pink one, right? Yeah, but it's okay. At least I can just move it from USB to USB. Do you want to talk about what we did last night? Um. Since I didn't vlog it. Well, I I didn't work, so I was playing my game, and then went with your mom went to Flower and Garden. That's so it was nice. I found my favorite Disney character Woody there <laughs> by the American Pavilion. Oh, and this morning, and then the morning we went to Portales, which is a Mexican um, restaurant, and we paid ten nine dollars and eighty four cents for two large burritos. <laughs> they were delicious. Oh, they were very good. And then we went to uh, <coughs> Animal Kingdom Lodge. And, um, this is where I joined them because I was this, working all day while they were having all this fun. Right, we went to this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> cultural speaker and it was fun and then we made a new friend his name is Maloko mm -hmm. and he's from South Africa which is pretty cool we talked to him for like three hours yeah, we ended up leaving hours, around 10 30 yeah and then we gave him a ride and now um, he's our friend now yeah we're friends <laughs> yeah. on Facebook and stuff yeah it's kind of cool <laughs> our friends from all over the world you know it's really neat and now we're headed to Jupiter um, I was able planet. to switch my, yes, the planet, some taste of it, <laughs> no, um, it's a place in Florida. Um, I have Tuesday, Wednesdays off, but I switched for Monday, Tuesday, so I could at least have one day the same as my mom and Abel, and we are going to go check out a lighthouse. We actually saw the video that Living Disney posted that they visited Jupiter when they came back from their cruise. They went to the lighthouse and they went to Habitat for Humanity and like did thrift shopping. Like it just looked like the funnest day. So um, I switched my days. We're gonna go check it out. I think it's only like nine dollars admission to this place. Um, and we also found a sanctuary. Just researching things to do in Jupiter. Um, it's a wildlife sanctuary and it's free admission, but they do accept donations and they have different animals. Um, that I thought would be really cool to see too, but with um, daylight saving time and us losing an hour, we were thinking that we were an hour ahead, but we're an hour behind, so we have a little bit of a late start this morning, but I still think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, my mom packed the coolers that you can see in the front seat down there. We've got tons of food. Um, we have beach towels in the back. I think we're going to stop by the beach a little bit too. We're just going to see how much we can cram in to the time that we have. Um, and Abel has to be at work at 6.30 tomorrow morning. So I think we're still going to though probably be at Jupiter for most of the day. Yeah, I'm not fine. We'll try to be home. Um, I'll have my half to alarm so when does it go the alarm? Or you can just call in. <clears throat> if we leave no, by I 5 o'clock. Yeah. If we leave by 5 o'clock. lighthouse we just checked in for our tour we have a couple of minutes so we're exploring around um, but we found this beautiful little beach spot so we've been taking some pictures mama had to get her sand or toes in the sand tell me if it's cold Yay! is it cold yeah um, but we are yep, just taking some pictures we found this beautiful tree um, I just love it here. It is such a beautiful day right now. Oh, my face, sorry. It's a beautiful day. It is kind of windy. Um, but definitely I think like in the 70s or 80s, it's gorgeous. So, um, cool. Do you guys hey guys, we are in the lighthouse. Made it to the first landing. Yeah. Okay. Up the spiral staircase we go. Time. 
Got some grapes, some sandwiches. We are overlooking the beautiful water. How did you guys like the lighthouse? Or maybe not going up it, but just I love it in general. It was beautiful, but it scared me, but it was beautiful. Yeah, I loved it. And I got to, I actually really liked this house that we toured. Um, that was built in 1892. The Tyndall Pioneer Homestead that we got to see. Um, it was two kind of, it was one house, but it had like, it was detached and then connected just by a little hallway um, in between the two buildings. So this was like their their main room and their little bedroom. Um, and then this was the kitchen. They said they built it separately because they were afraid of fire. If it would burn, rather than the whole house, it would just burn that section. Um, but it was home to George, Tyndall and his wife and there's seven kids that lived in there and they didn't have air conditioning or anything like that but I just thought the room was the house was super roomy and cute um, but now we're gonna eat lunch we have <laughs> made it to the bush wildlife sanctuary pretty exciting I wonder if it's from, you know, bush gardens that's what I thought too um, but we saw this I found this when we were looking for the lighthouse initially and it looked like it looked like um, that the admission is free, but donations are accepted, and that somebody had written as a review that it's the hidden gem of Jupiter. So I'm really excited to check it out. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! We're off to see the bears. I do love this little reserve. It's very um, rustic. rustic, yes. Very rustic. The cute little prints on the ground. Mosquito crossing. This kid is one of the most, the most dangerous spots yeah. in the world. Look how beautiful he is. And they have a pretty large exhibit. Mm -hmm. This is something I see you do. Informal ed. But getting to teach a bunch of kids. I think she just volunteers here. And nobody goes around this place. So pretty. Yeah, we'd love to take you out here and people have to. Yay! Hey, what did you think of it, honey? It was awesome. Beautiful place. I thought it was great. Definitely worth the drive. Absolutely. I really liked it. We did see a woman feeding the animals, yeah. um, which was a little depressing. We're like, what are you doing? But um, we got to see a little bit of a show, and the woman was talking about it. She runs uh, programs for kids, for homeschool kids, as well as some just like regular like public school kids as well, where it's six weeks long and they get to come in and hold, um, work with the animals, but she has them pick a specific animal and they do like a little book report on it. So we got to... Bird on the tree. See? It's a hammer cap. See? On the tree he's sticking his head up. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. Abel has an eye for animals. Do you see that? See, the thing is, my camera will zoom, but it, it does not stay clear, which is a real bummer. Um, but they have six weeks, and they learn, they get to pick that animal and learn all about the animal. Um, and they were doing like little book reports on it. It was really cool. I don't know if I'm zooming in. Hold on. Here is my nose. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was really cool to see, and they were having um, an alligator and crocodile feeding at four o'clock which is right now but we just decided to head on out um, but I would definitely come back again for sure that was a lot of fun they had um, bears and panthers a whole huge section of like aviary and owls and foxes and deer and turkeys and all kinds of really cool stuff um, and my mom asked the woman who worked at the gift shop how it's if it's like any um, relation to bush gardens and she said no but what is it one of the sons um, she said in a way it is because 
Peter Bush, part of the Bush family, mm -hmm. um, is a private, like the major private donator. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. Um, it definitely was very, very like reservation um, ask, where it definitely wasn't like, you know, Fancy pristine. Everywhere. Yeah, there wasn't like pristine signs and clean tables and things like that. But it was, um, it was really cool to see still. So. I definitely would come back, I think. Um, are we heading home? Yeah, I don't know what yeah. we're doing now. Yeah, so. Stop and get gas and get yes. So, two hour drive back. <laughs>